All right, so how's it going, everybody? And today we're taking a look at a mini form factor gaming PC. So it's not an ITX gaming PC, it's a micro ATX gaming PC actually, but it's one of the smallest that you can get right now without paying any money. And I saw this video on the Toasty Bros, you know, this is a very well known YouTube PC related tech channel. And they used the ASRock Desk Mini B660 version and they were pairing the i3-12100F with the GTX 1660 Super. But hey, if you want to go with something fast, you want to go something actually kind of more power efficient or as power efficient as that one this is the video for you so without wasting any more time let's get to it and for the system itself we're looking at the asrock desk meet b660 version and if you don't know what that is this is basically a mini form factor case i believe it's a micro atx mini form factor and it's got a b660 on board this board is actually can be compatible with 13th gen cpus in the future and it's got four ram slots which is pretty surprising to me and an m.2 ssd uh, space now what's pretty intriguing is that the power supply is a 500 watt 80 plus power supply 80 plus bronze actually and this is a lot of wattage in a very form factor a very small form factor pc which was kind of surprising so you can go as high as something like an rtx 3060 ti or an rx 6700 xt or even an rtx 3070 which is pretty cool how far you can get with a pc as uh, small as that actually in terms of size so yeah this one goes for 190 dollars and if you compare this pricing to a pricing uh with actual pc case and actual power supply uh, of the same specs that it will go for around 150 so you're not paying that much for the form factor which is pretty cool and you can add i believe a gpu that's got two fans so a two slotted gpu you know so yeah it's a pretty cool pc and i really like it i really like this system i really like that concept so much that i wanted to get one for myself actually now when it comes to the cpu we're looking at the intel core i5 12 400f i went with that because it's the cheapest it's got six cores and 12 threads anyways six cores 12 threads uh for a pc as small as that is actually pretty cool and you are getting really good performance out of it the 12400F is a serial, a very relevant CPU. And for the RAM, we're looking at the typical 16 gigs to 8 gig sticks of DDR4-3200. You can actually add extra two sticks of RAM because we have four RAM slots in this PC. If you want to upgrade to 32 gigs in the future, and you can also upgrade to a 13th gen CPU. So yeah, it's got all the bells and whistles. It's pretty surprising how small that is actually, and you're getting so much. And the SSD, you cannot go with SATA SSD. You cannot go with the mechanical hard drive, of course. So we're only going with an M.2 SSD. Uh, you can only go with a 512 gigabyte m.2 ssd if you have the money for one terabyte go for it actually but yeah fast boot up times loading speeds and it will get the job done now the gpu which is the most interesting thing we are looking at the amd rx 6600m and yes there are a ton of videos online on what this gpu is but this is basically a laptop version of the rx 6600 but it performs the same but the biggest advantage when it comes to this uh, gpu that it's a pretty power efficient gpu and also it doesn't uh, consume a lot of heat so and a lot of reviews this gpu on gaming will not go over 50 dollars uh, 50 degrees sorry and keep in mind this is a mini itx a gaming pc so the ventilation will not be the best thing in the world so this is a very good thing actually for a pc like that to go with a gpu that first doesn't consume so much power so this is the 100 watt tdp gpu and second of all it actually uh, doesn't run that hot so yeah the hardest it can get is 70 degrees which is awesome in my opinion and the dimensions works fine so yeah that's been it for this video if you want to see how to build the pc itself check out toasty bros video that i will link in the description and in the top right corner if i had the time for that but yeah if you like the video press the like button and uh, subscribe if you want to see more of that kind i'll see you in the next one peace